Here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was gonna vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed him to be exact where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Yes, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He, did. he needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded, and he's real big for the weight yeah. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throat. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our third man in the fight. octagon for this Three. one. Three. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. This man has been a force, really, ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. Early connection with the left from the champ. Nice work here on the clinch. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. And now some separation. All right, too easy to get out of the shoot. The wrestler is able to land his first takedown attempt. Uh, watch the yard, the yard bar going up. Oh, it's getting deep. This is it. This has to be the end. Whoa, submission defense. He gets out. The fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy.
high into the mount. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm bar. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Evans. Another ground and pound strike lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Muhammad's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Yep, that guillotine key. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. Big shots from the top. Oh, submission attempts and bunches to. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. His misses are entertaining. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Big right hand. Uppercut attempt nearly connects, but no good. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Guillotine jump. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. How did he escape that submission? All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Nice punch to the head. That's a He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. Now throw that in here. Huge shots landing on both sides. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to feel everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finish at that time. Great shot from the top position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Edwards is now dealing with a cheat cut. He passed the half guard. Great submission defense. Ah, Second ah. round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is ah, over, ah, but not ah. before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. I'm Ready, just saying. Fight. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Round two here. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Edwards, his shot is blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, 
almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Nice. Nicely done. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into the whole midsection. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice jab by Muhammad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good work from the top here by Bilal Muhammad. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, right into Mount. Muhammad's in half guard. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Muhammad's back in full guard. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Edwards is back in full mount. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Muhammad's trying for a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good pop. These fighters came to see him. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found the oh! uh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Edwards gets hit with a kick. Well, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get his victory. Back and forth we go. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Look at the redness on his body, man. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Big shot to the head. Back to the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Oh, great reversal to top position by Edwards. He needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He's in the mouth. Edwards is in half guard. This is where he wants to be. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Oh, big, big shots here. Ten minutes in the can. Okay, that round is in the distance. That, that one's gone. There's nothing you can do about that round. We need to change this next round. We have, we have no choice, okay? We're going to stick to it. 
All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next Ready. round starts. Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. Job at least staying upright on that. Get that back to this guy for me. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Let's go. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fights in. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, oh, team shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Muhammad's in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Bilal Muhammad. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Now he's going full mount. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. I need you to get back to guard for me. Move your head. <laughs> Beautiful transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've gotta do something different to try and change the way that this fighter's playing out. to top position by Muhammad. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. <clears throat> now he's got good body position. Yup. Edwards is this man I is landing. Oh, 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 my goodness. Unbelievable. That was awesome, dude. So proud. So Wait, what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the law, remember the name.